all right so this is the flyer um i delivered to one of my clients some time ago and i want to show you how i was able to achieve this um using my android smartphone right so um i don't think we should this is okay i don't think we should spend let's say 10 minutes we are done right so but i'm um, assuming we have gone through the free training if you have not gotten my premium training, um, assuming that you've gotten, you've gone through the free training. I mean, you've carried out, you know, the tax, the design practical session done in that free training because you'll be needing that for this. Uh, I would kind of be fast while trying to do this because I'm assuming you already know how to navigate through Pixel App, for instance. You already know how to operate using the features available there right so now let's quickly go to pixel app so this is the app right this is the app pixel app so if you have not gotten access to the free training yet uh you watched the youtube video and you are yet to maybe you are yet to get access to it just come to um why is my this thing come to dlp um dlpfreesession.car.co yeah so just come to this site come to this site and carry out the the practical i mean the design we did there right that one will give you understanding on you know how to navigate through pixel app how to how to you know carry out some basic tasks on pixel app so it would ease you when uh watching this new video we're about to create this new flare we're about to create so go through that all right so quickly look at this flare you can see how beautiful it is right you can see how beautiful how you can see the quality you can see the arrangement and all of that and i'm sure you want to you know do something similar for your brand you want to um you know maybe you sell products also maybe your own is weak you sell your wigs you can you know be inserting your products your pictures there oh, okay let me go to pixel up now let me go to pixel app maybe uh where is my draw yeah maybe you sell wigs and all of that so here is the place maybe you can put your product picture there then here is where you put your product details and your contact details all of that right so that's the concept i want you to understand the concept behind this flyer the top part is where the products are inserted then the down part is where the contact details the product details and the rest then here you have the instagram handle right here you have the contact details here maybe you have the name of the offer here the name of the name of the other product you want to show on the fair and all of that so you can be creative with the different concepts here right sorry for that then um can also come up with a different concept there are different layouts that you can actually use you can do it in such a way that you put your product picture you arrange your product picture at this side you put the name of your product here then the details other details of your products maybe you want to put price maybe you want to put then your contact details and then the name of your brand name maybe somewhere around here right maybe your instagram and so you just want to be creative right sometimes um sometimes you may just you know you may even sometimes you may put your you may put your product picture down here right then you put your contact details here you put your uh, product details on each of the products so you can be creative yeah right you can be creative with the different concepts with the different layout for your design so that's that so i just want you to understand the concept behind uh, what I actually did here in this flyer. All right. So what I want to do now, I want to show you how I was able to do it, and I don't want to spend more than ten minutes. This four minutes already. Okay, time is counting. All right. So if I click here already, right? This should not be new to you. you should uh, if you've gone through the free training, right? This should not be new to you. All right. So if you look at this, if I click here these are all the elements i added on this flyer right these are all the elements i added you can see them here right so now first of all uh, let me try to hide everything so uh so you can see how everything how everything was done so let me hide 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 hide, hide everything 
okay show ah uh, okay i've not ah uh, where is that one think already i did everything now where is this show um where are you where are you where are you where are you i think this is it okay yeah so we have a plain background now if you are just opening your pixel app you will see this background this background here yeah, this one showing default that's what you have right so that's still good and fine so what you want to do is you want to change your brand color so maybe you have a color that you work with for your brand so you can use that as the background of the design right so the next thing you want to do now is you want to start adding your product pictures first of all you already know the layout you want to get you want to use right because before for you to ease yourself for you to avoid wasting much time using much time carrying out your design you need to understand the layout you want to use first before you even open pixel up so the first thing you will do now is you click on here okay let me just show you the first thing here think this right so this is the first shape i added you see this one is um where the contact details is going to be added right the contact details the product details and all of that so that is where that's why i'm adding this white shape there right so now the next thing so uh let me lock that this is it right where is it here okay this is it this one yeah this one yeah this one that i'm clicking here that has this blue line so this is it so if i want to hide it you can see on eye so i want to lock it so that it will not be moving up and down because i already placed it where i want it to be so that when i'm moving other elements this one will not be moving so i'll lock it right you see it's not moving again even if i try moving it unless i unlock it again all right so that is the oh sorry it's not placed properly let's go and place it well all right then okay so the next thing i want to you know put my pictures now so let me unhide them um let me unhide them okay i think all right all right all right so let me shift that white shape down a bit let me shift it down a bit okay all right so now if you look at this you're already getting our design done right we are getting there now if you look at it i didn't just place this anyhow now if you come this up here this up this up the icons up here you see this one that has like three boxes or nine boxes inside this square shape icon right if you click on it it's going to pop out your grid lines all these lines they are your grid lines to ensure proper alignment of your design so i make use of it a lot right and, and i advise my students also to always make use of it to make their work properly aligned so now when clicking on it after you click on it you see that these two icons down here down display this one like u icon that's the magnet icon and this one like another table right with this settings icon if you click on that one table and settings icon it will bring all of this so with that you'll be able to move your grid lines right so now if i move this grid line look at it okay look at this one now look at this one look at it it's touching both this this uh product picture and this product picture because i want to make sure that this product picture and this circle frame and this product picture is on the same line right i don't just want to place it anyhow right so i made use of my grid lines to make sure that they're on the same plane they're on the same line right we have and this one at the top this product picture at the top is at the center of these two up do you get that so do you see how i made use of my grid lines to ensure that my work is properly placed right my element design elements are properly placed so always make use of design elements right it makes your work professional and people will think oh this kind of work ah, you use pc for this right and they will not know you use your smartphone it's just that you use it uh you use it better than the way others are using it right so um this one okay so the next thing i want to do now um this is nine minute kai it's even 10 minutes already <laughs> 
I think uh, I don't know this would exceed 10 minutes but then let's just try to finish it now the next thing I want to do now I want to add my background you can see this background is something relating to what I'm trying to sell here weeks you can add one of your product at the background enlarge it then reduce your pass opacity right you know if you if you if you increase the opacity where is it now this is it right let me unlock it now if you increase the opacity it will not make it your flare look nice because it's going to you know uh disturb people's attention right you want people to be seeing the other product pictures you put on top right so if you reduce the opacity it will direct people's eyes to this other product pictures also that you've added right but if you increase the opacity so there are reasons to each of the things you do on your design there are reasons to it it's not just it's not everything that is just for fancy right it's not everything that is for fancy you want your design to be able you know to get the eyes of your prospects of your customers to the main message you want the design to pass across right that is the main benefit of a flare design it's not just for fancy you want to make money here right we are not playing we are not joking <laughs> that's it so um what else after doing all of this okay then i added this this one here right so and when you are adding pictures to your design don't make it in such a way that the picture will now be floating take for instance look at this you now add something like this no 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 all right don't then you now leave like no it's not even if you yourself if you look at it it's not making it professional you try to so i try to you know hide that edge that then the edge is there right so that people will not see it right then another way to hide those edges is by using um gradients gradient effects so just make use of it like that right this person is actually this brand is actually you know brighter something so something relating to that show is this is this here that i wanted to show more um so what else what else all right uh, the next thing i want to do now you know i'm not placing it here i'm placing it here why let's look at our grid lines now let me click on this look at where this one start from this grid line is then look at where this one is right if you if you put this one here it's likely not going to make the work to be balanced right it's likely not going to make the work to balance so you want to make it in such a way that the space you leave at your left is equal to the space you leave at your right as a beginner starting out this would help you a lot right when you are trying to ensure all of these in your designs it would help you a lot when with uh, the balancing of your design the your alignment your balance especially balance right so i'm not placing this one here i'm placing it here because i want everything to be uh i want everything to just be here right so that's center centralized right so you should take note of that so let me make sure that the space let me make sure that the space um, is equal this one yeah then this one this one so so now shift this one a bit okay so I think you already you try you get what I'm trying to do here a bit right. So the next thing I want to do now, let me insert a name the other names this 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 no uh this this. So you know how to insert all of this. So you can see you can see uh where is my draw you can see how this one follows straight line you can see the straight line right you can see can you see so it makes the work you know good perfect so when you try to ensure this it makes you you know without having to crack your head where should you place this and you bringing up your work design so um they've gone through the free training i provided also right this would also you also know what we are trying to do here and you add this to the concept you already have so and i would advise you 
get on to my premium training that is the no stress graphic design training that's if you want to access my mentorship and you want me to be your coach whereby i guide you and i will be able to devote more time in seeing you progress in your graphic design journey even with your android smartphone right so you can check if you want to know more details about that just click on no stress dlp dot card or you click on this link uh no stress dlp dot card dot co or this bit dot me slash slash no stress graphic yeah this link yeah bit.ly slash no stress graphic so just copy the link paste it in your browser to know more details about the premium training uh you'll be able to know um get some feedbacks from those that have assessed the course right you'll be able to know the details of the training or what the training is all about right no stress graphic design training i would advise if you really want to learn the skill of graphic design i mean how to create attractive you know because there are a lot of flyers out there there are a lot of business owners there are a lot of graphic designers so you want to know how to be profitable doing this thing right so uh just log on to bit.ly no stress graphic and you know no more details about the premium and get it right get it i would advise that so um what other thing what other thing what other thing so designing is actually easy graphic design is actually easy but as a newbie it may kind of you know uh, be difficult you know anything you are starting new the beginning phase is somehow difficult or somehow not as easy as when you have been doing it right but then everything is simple when you understand the process and this is part of the process right so this is 17 minutes already i don't want to exceed this time so thank you for watching see you in the next video sorry i'm saying see you in the next video we show that video again that's what i used to say for my premium student wherever i say whenever i want to end the video i'll say see you in the next video but then this one there is no see you in the next video all right so thank you for watching so just try to make sure you practice right you do something similar to what we just did here right don't forget to put your instagram handle to somewhere around here right so you add it to your portfolio maybe you are not selling something like this. you add it to your portfolio there are many persons that sell these stuff products like this that will be needing something like that from you and you can even render it to people and get paid right so that is that so thank you for watching and um bye